Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. In your head right now, visualize a radio guy you like other than Man Cow. Is there any other? They stomp puppies' heads in with their work boots on, but not Man Cow. He loves animals, but not without A1 brand steak sauce. Man Cow's Morning Outhouse on Rock 103.5 Chicago. Boy, the molester we had on yesterday, 27 children Ooh, yeah. with their rectums bleeding. He talked about some very graphic, disgusting things. We warned you to move your children away. I hope you did. But hopefully, the show yesterday, as controversial as it was, hopefully, you're able to help your children. Hopefully, you're able to keep your kids out of the environment where people like that disgusting loser, uh, where they are. Okay? Hopefully, you'll be able to save them. He was sick. Yeah. Very, very scary. Very, very scary. And hopefully we saved your kids. And how long did he serve, Irma? Four years. Four years. 27 <laughs> children's lives are ruined forever. Yeah. He served four years. Four years. And he wants to get on with his life. Anatomy of hate. I think there's a lot of hatred going on right now, folks. I think America is a pressure cooker. <sighs> Victims, always the bad guy. What's happening? Four years that man spent in prison. Four years. Yet, some guy at Turd's old alma mater, some guy got caught with a joint in 1974 and just got fired. Oh, boy. Ridiculous. Two months That's ago, brutal. got fired. Yeah. I mean, there you go. There you go. Because it's something he did 20, over 20 years ago. Yeah. Oh, God, you get caught with a little bit of weed, you're in jail forever. You know? But, uh, boy, rape kids, they, they can't get you out of jail quick enough. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. A woman who is raped, she's the one in court that they ask a million questions of. Why is the woman the bad bad person? Why is the victim always the bad person in this country? Mm -hmm. Why why does uh, Sharon Tate's sister have to go to uh, go to prison every couple of years to sit there in front of Manson and say he's a bad guy? He's a bad guy. Yep. Keep him in jail. He's a bad guy. Why are there questions asked? Why is he even ever up for parole? The victims and their families, always the ones who are wrong. Freak, what do you hate? Uh, well, as far as America goes, I it, I really have to disagree with the fact that marijuana isn't legal. You know, uh, it's... Yeah. It, whatever you Dude, like... You, you, you know, know what? We're talking about some really powerful stuff. Well... Sorry. Not every not everything is... Uh, not everything relates to weed. The guy's got three brain cells, man. Why don't you give him a break? God. Yeah. I mean, I think, well, if, I think if anything, Freak yeah. is, is a... And it, is really a poster boy for keeping weed illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's you, you never see you know weed people going out and, and, and starting fights. You know, like you said before, you know, yeah, well, it's true. It's true. You're nobody, nobody ever. I mean, nobody's ever gotten high and gone. Hey, I want to go kick some ass, right. man. Wow, well, yeah. you and, just sit and back drive and really chill. quick. Yeah, you, you know, sit you back and you watch. You actually drive slower. You yeah, sit, <laughs> you, do. you sit. I wouldn't know. You sit back and you watch MST3K and laugh your ass off, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Any Doritos. The cast, that? the cast of uh, Mystery Science Fiction Theater are going to be in here today. Also, uh, cool. William Shatner, Captain Kirk, awesome. the last man who talked to the little seven-year-old girl who flew the plane and died. Uh, we're going to have the rocket wear woman on, uh, the Hollywood gay boy. Uh, we're going to take you to hell and back. Uh, the Bulls are going to, it's going to happen today. Yes. Elusive 70. Ooh. We're going to be talking about that. Yes. Yeah. You're about this guy that went on Springer and just screwed him over big yeah. time. Yep. We're going to talk to the guy that hosed <laughs> Springer. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. and then we're going to talk to the guy, oh, excuse me, the woman that Springer hosed. Irma's going to have news. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, <laughs> the Home Alone hero, Howard Jones, on the program today, uh, uh, leftover from the 80s, and uh, kind of mm -hmm. like Jonathan Brandmeyer. And yeah. uh, <laughs> we're going to talk to uh, Super Rosa Pizza. Now, this is the place Ooh, that's doing the, man, the Bulls pizza. pizza. Have you heard about that? Yeah. From the Chicago Sun-Times, Jay Mariotti. And Pants is going to be here. Huh? Pants? Pants. Yeah, hmm. remember yesterday? We had on the guy from Goodfellas who was talking about how Pants was coming in. Oh, yeah, Joe Pant yeah, Joe Pantolano. Yeah. Oh, okay. The Guido the Killer. <laughs> yes, he saw Pimp some. The yeah. Risky Business okay. and The Fugitive yeah. and a thousand other movies. He's going to be hanging out with All us. All right, so, A cool. huge show today. What do you hate in America? We want to go to your calls. <laughs> Even in the suburbs, the hatred is boiling. Let's go to Greg. Greg, hello. Hey, hello, man. Kyle, love you. Love your show. We're exploring hate in America. We're talking about the Freeman and uh, 
Oh, God. Waco, and it just goes on and on. There's a lot of things happening lately. What do you hate? I hate the fact that big businesses can still hide things from us so they can keep breaking in our money. Yeah. Did you ever see that? I, I don't know the name of it. That Steven Seagal movie that was on last night when he tells everybody about that at the end, how they're hiding all the technology that could... That's what Mike stars on, in. On Deadly Ground. Yeah, in fact, Ground. hey, yeah. hey, do you know the guy's ass he kicks at the very beginning? In, uh, in I the didn't bar? see the very beginning. I just caught that movie oh, last oh, night for oh, the first yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, the guy at the very beginning uh, we had in yesterday, he was my co-host yesterday. Very cool guy. Mm -hmm. He was the guy that ate the pepper sandwich and died in Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> <laughs> He's in Chicago doing their new TV show. In fact, Ronick is going to be in the show. Jeremy Ronick yeah. has a guest, guest role. It's a big Chicago show. Uh, Jeff, hello. Hey, man, Kyle. Love you. Love your show. What's going on, man? I think that, I think it's a powder keg, man. I really do. I, yeah. feel, I, I do, feel, too. I do, too. I feel there's a lot of people who kind of feel the same way that we do, mm -hmm. but I think they haven't realized yet. I think the day they realize it, they're going to realize we got the strength in numbers. We can do this. We are, we headed, are we headed towards revolution, sir? I do believe it. I mean, look at Hillary Clinton, folks. What, uh, on a $1,000 investment, she made a million dollars? Good luck. I, hey, call Smith Barney right now and say, hey, I got $1,000. I want to turn it into a million in a couple of years. Can you do it? They'd <laughs> laugh at you. The Whitewater <laughs> land deal. And, folks, who has had him? I'm telling you, there's mafia kingpins. Al Capone didn't have as many deaths around him as Bill Clinton does. <laughs> You're right. It's true. The trail of bodies around Bill Clinton. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, the head mafia man in Bill Clinton. The head mafia man in America, excuse me, is Bill Clinton. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. and big business just gets away with everything. The suits rule and the little guy. Man, this country was built by little guys, and we've been forgotten. Mark, hello. Hey, man, Kyle. How are you doing? What's going on? My biggest problem with America, I think, is stereotypes. It okay. seems like the older people always look down on the younger people. Like, the younger people always the ones doing bad things, like our generation. Yeah, but you know what, man? That's been that's gone on forever. Yeah, but I mean, it's you know, like we can't be heard, and you're like the key to be no, heard. No, you know what? Well, I, I I appreciate that, and I do think of of this radio show as a mouthpiece for our generation. I really do. I think this show is an outlet that you've never had before. This show is, and that's why we've been so successful. It is a grassroots uh, show. It has uh, it has risen because of people that are regular guys, and instead of talking down to you, hey, I'm with the radio, I'm better than everybody. Instead of driving around in limos, instead of spouting off a bunch of BS, you know everybody you hear on the radio ever I hear them too or everybody they're just so fake and they just talk and we don't we don't talk down to people now come on there's sometimes there's real morons and you got to you got to talk down to them cuz they're just so stupid <laughs> exactly. I'm not there's some people's level I just won't stoop to but for the most part good hard working Americans can call this program and uh, and and it's you know you're on the equal ground here you're on you're on mm -hmm. a, it's a level playing field and you don't get that on any other radio station so mark I consider that a hell of a a hell of a compliment, sir. Thank you. And you know what? I do like to look at life based on the Steven Seagal movie on Deadly Ground. <laughs> now, I could have called him a real moron, but I didn't. Eric, hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up, man? Oh, just hanging around. You know what? The power is to speak up. Absolutely. you got to speak up. Right? Yeah. Definitely. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. Yeah. But uh, you got to vote. you got to vote. Even if you think it doesn't make a difference, and I kind of think it doesn't, you got to continue to vote. You can't bitch unless you vote. Eric, hello. Yeah. Go ahead, man. Uh, my problem with America is that the government wants to involve itself with all the American people. They want to drain America dry, and they can't even get their own act together. Mm. You know, the government yeah. has so many problems with its yeah. own. They need our money. Look how they spend it. You know what? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't go with Payne Weber, which is an investment firm. Ba I mean, we're giving our government to them. Look how they do with it. Million-dollar toilets. Thousand-dollar hammers. Right. We know how the government spends our money. Mm -hmm. You see how important we are. Our hard-earned dollar. You see how they spend it. They could care less. Yeah, absolutely. Clinton sits around on the runway getting a haircut. Yeah, great. Nice life, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you ever drive around and see some of the things the government's spending your money on? <laughs> yeah. You work your ass off. How about this? You're late for work. You're speeding down the Kennedy. You get pulled over, and you get treated like garbage. My God, you think you killed somebody, would you? The way you get treated? Like garbage. Boy, they love hassling people speeding, and they love hassling people doing easy stuff, because you know what? It's easy. It's easy. It's a power trip. Some guy speeding. What the hell's the difference? There's, there's a case of uh, 
You know what? People didn't like 55. Nobody obeyed 55. 55 was a joke, so now they're starting to change it. We knew all along, but no, not before we all had to pay a bunch of cash. Mm -hmm. Not before we had to go to their stupid no. schools. Not before, you know, what kind? What was that? That was like being in Vietnam, a re-education program. Driving school. You, you sit around all day and they tell you what a moron you are. <laughs> no. You will drive. Why didn't why did they just hook electrodes to us and say, you will drive 55, you will drive 55, you will drive 55, you will drive 55. <laughs> what? What is that? Government uh, training? What is... Uh, I have to go soon. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah. I know you do. And, and uh, yeah, or you just pay the ticket, and they put a point on your license, and it costs you thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh -huh. Yeah. And insurance. Insurance, yeah. yeah. Right. Your insurance rates go up and everything. It's, it isn't is amazing, but in the meantime, you know, there's guys killing and dropping kids out windows, and I'll never get over that kid being dropped out of the window. I never will. Uh because he wouldn't steal candy for the other boys. <laughs> and don't you love when they walk up to your car? Yeah, what do you think you're doing? I, I, I told you what happened to me recently. Almost got the hell beat out of me. I was with my Maverick. I was speeding down the Kennedy. A cop walks over. He says, where's the fire? In your eyes, officer. <laughs> oh, nice. I thought he was going to kill me. <laughs> but why is it hardworking guys get taxed? Why is it we can't get a place to park? Why is it they keep raising our bills and nobody talks? Why is it Wedgwood Communications, my cable company, can treat me like an insect? Why is it we're, we're talked rude to everywhere we go to spend money? How about every fast food restaurant? They're doing you a huge favor. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. It's minimum wage job. How fun is that? Burger, fry, burger, fry. How fun, how monotonous that must be. How... How, must, how you must crave climbing on top of a clock tower with a high-powered rifle. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. Watching the heads explode like overripe tomatoes. That's got to be monotony. That's got to drive you nuts. Yeah. But why be rude to me? I work hard like you. Just rudeness all around. Waco. I'm going to take you there. I have used the Freedom of Information Act... You are going to hear for the first time actual 911 calls that have never been released. People pleading for the lives of their children before our government killed them. Isn't it funny how America is so concerned about Bosnia and how concerned we were <laughs> about Kuwait because of uh, the human lives. Or we're so concerned about that. And, we were so concerned about Noriega. Mm. Mm -hmm. I wonder who he forgot to pay in our government. Mm. Boy, they've tried to keep him. They've tried to shut him up, haven't sure they? Sure have. Oh, yeah. They don't want Noriega in court, folks, because I'm telling you, he had a deal with the United States government to distribute drugs in this country, and the CIA scammed money from that. Yep. Don't get me started on that. It's on CNN last night. But you, you see how we, we you know, pan folks, look at this. Panama, Kuwait, Bosnia. I want to give you a map, and I want you to point those out for me. You couldn't find them. No. Could you find China? That, that's a uh -huh. big one. Yeah. Could you find China? <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, yeah, right. You know why? You know why you know why you can find China? Because it's so huge. And you know why they can shoot their people on TV, Tiananmen Square, and we don't do anything? Because they could kick our ass. Exactly. Because there's tons huh. of people huh. over there. No, just a small boat ride. In fact, I got offered when I was down at Key West hanging out at Buffett's place. Uh, I got offered a trip over to, to Key West. It's um, a couple-hour boat ride. You go over there, you smoke cigars and come back. You can't spend any of your money, but you can hang out. What did I say? To the Cuba. To Cuba. Yeah, and over to Cuba. But we don't go over to Cuba because Castro fights back. Instead, we want to go trounce on these little puss boy countries. Well, that's all about human rights. It's about money. Absolutely. There was money in Kuwait, folks. There was drug money in Panama. We don't want to mess with China. They'll destroy us. Maybe not, but I'll tell you, boy, that that's going to be a hell of a battle. That, that would be. be a fight. That is sure. going to be a hell of a battle. That's going to happen. Eventually, uh, they are so diametrically opposed to, I mean, we're talking Europe to everybody. Eventually, there's going to be a war with China. There's going to be a huge war. Well, they're, they're saying it right now. They're claiming eventually that there's going to have to be a war. We just have different philosophies. And what do they say about China? They'll, they'll line up the people and they'll keep walking. Oh, definitely. And eventually, we'll run out of bullets. That's what the government said. That's not me saying that, Irma. That's their government. Right. They'll line up the people with guns and they'll keep walking. And when they run out of guns, they'll give them sticks. There's so many people, they'll eventually take over the world. Yeah. But God, you know what? I love that food, man. There's nothing like sweet and sour cat. Mm. 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 I love dog. Very good eating. Oh, Woo. Bow, wow, good. yum, yum, yippee-yo, yippee-yay. <laughs>
718 Man Cows Morning Madhouse, Rock 1035. Do you know they have sex doggy style in Canada so the man and woman can watch hockey? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. It's true. That's awesome. We had a molester on yesterday. 27 children raped. 27 children bleeding. He got four years. How about this guy? Uh, what the hell was his name? <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, Irma. McQuay. McQuay, yeah. McQuay. Raped a bunch of kids, got out in four years, and was begging to be castrated. Over 250 children. Wait a minute, you want to be castrated? All right, step right up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you want to be castrated? Yeah, okay. Right this way. All right, Mr. McQuay, you've served your time in prison for rape. But as for your wishes to be castrated, well, even though it's a highly controversial issue, the board has decided to comply. That's great. I suppose you're going to fly in, what, some doctors to perform the procedure? Well, we did fly in a highly skilled team of doctors. Mr. McQuay, I'd like you to meet Dr. Unabomber, Dr. O.J. Simpson and Dr. Lorena Bobby. Enjoy. <laughs> 200,000 people every day go interactive with the Man Cow on www.mancow.com. Warning. Some seeds depicted are of unnatural acts, and people under 18 or people with heart conditions should avoid. www.mancow.com. Go online with the Man Cow. www.mancow.com. Ask an Oregonian what the word Oregon means and you'll get some interesting answers, like it's an Indian word for land of beavers or something like that. But the truth is stranger. The word Oregon doesn't mean anything. Near as we can tell, some early French map maker made it up. With this in mind, we at Oregon Original Ales understand if some people are confused about what our name means. And for the record, we'd like to spell it out. Oregon Original Ales isn't some industry trade group. We're a brand of handcrafted micro-brewed beers. We took the name Oregon because that's where we're from. A beautiful state where the trees are tall and the beers are unlike any you've tasted. As for original, well, our beers are original. From our silky honey red to our mellow, hearty nut brown ale. Six styles in all. Each one complex and outstanding. That may not clear up what the word Oregon stands for, but it should clear up what we stand for. Oregon Original Ales. Good place. Great beer. Oregon Ale and Beer Company, Lake Oswego, Oregon. So I sat right next to her for like three months, right? And I didn't even see her. I mean, I saw her, but I didn't notice her. And then one day, I look over, and all of a sudden, she's like really, really hot. Maybe she checked out Close Time's Buy More, Save More sale. I couldn't believe it. It's like, how'd that happen? Close Time has the hottest looks. Everything from cute little skirts to dresses that leave very little to the imagination to those cool new polyester tops. So I stare at her with my mouth open like some kind of brain-damaged dweeb. Buy any two things and save 10%. Buy any three and save 20%. Buy four and save 30%. And she smiles at me. And I try to say hi, but it comes out more like, huh? The coolest styles from Bongo Smash and Judy Knapp. And so I finally work up the nerve to ask her out. The more you buy, the more you save. So I said, hey, you want to go out and get some coffee? And she gives me this killer smile and says, not in this lifetime. But I had a really quick comeback. I just grin and go... Okay. The close time buy more, save more sale ends April 21st. Offer excludes clearance items and accessories. The dark ages, famine, pestilence, ignorance, not a fun time. Fortunately, the dark ages ended for mankind with the renaissance. So did the dark ages of beer making, and the beer renaissance began with Pilsner. Brewed in Bohemia in the town of Pilsen, Pilsner was the first beer to be rich and golden in color with a hearty hop flavor. And now the great Pilsner style of centuries ago is having a renaissance of its own with the introduction of my new Samuel Adams Golden Pilsner. I'm Jim Cook. I brew my new Samuel Adams Golden Pilsner in the original Bavarian style. Brighter, more golden in color, with just a touch of malt and a nice hop bite. This crisp, refreshing brew is a great showcase for the spalt and saz hops I use in it. The same kind of hops that graced the original Pilsners centuries ago. Hey, you missed the Renaissance once, so try my new Samuel Adams Golden Pilsner. It could be ages before you get a chance like this again. Make your game room the most popular place in town with the pinball machine from RJB, the Dino Store. Choose your game from an incredible variety of new and reconditioned pinballs. They have machines for all ages, skill levels, and party requirements. Ramps, multi-ball, and video modes all combine for an outrageously good time. RJB has it all from puck bowlers, hockey games, to the old bat and pitch baseball games. Call RJB, the Dino Store today. They love to talk pinball. Call 847-949-0056 or stop by the RJB showroom at 451 North. 
North Lake. That's Route 45 in Mundelein. Open seven days a week. Pinball machines are not all that RJB is about. Check out the lineup of jukeboxes from the new CD Bubbler to 45 RPM jukes. Custom 50 style bars trimmed in aluminum with wild laminates and chrome stools. Let RJB design your rock and roll diner. Accessorize with vinyl boots, Coca-Cola memorabilia, neon signs, and Route 66 nostalgia. From the walls to the tile on the floor, RJB has everything to make your game room the most popular place in town. RJB, the diner store. Call 847-949-0056. It's time for another exciting episode of 15 Minutes to Kill. You know those places that'll make you a new pair of glasses in an hour? Well, they're great, unless the only pair you've got needs fixing. I went to get my lenses replaced, and I was stuck there for a whole hour, blind. I took a wrong turn trying to find the ladies' room and got lost for 45 minutes. Oh, but I made it back in time to wait some more. Marge Hickman still has 15 minutes to kill. If she took that time and called GEICO, she could save 15% or more on her car insurance. GEICO would even give her a line-by-line -line comparison so she could see the savings. After she got her glasses back, that is. What do you mean this isn't my purse? It looks just like my... Oh. Find out how much money GEICO could save you. And find out why over 10,000 drivers switch their car insurance to us every week. Call GEICO at 1-800-841-3000. That's right, 1-800-841-3000. Next time you have 15 minutes to kill. GEICO, the sensible alternative. Need concert info? Call the Rock 103.5 Ameritech Concert Line. 409 WRCS. Here are just some of the concerts you'll hear about. Yes. Come on, clap Stone Temple Pilots, Lollapalooza, with Metallica, and Soundgarden, plus much more. The Rock 103.5 Ameritech Concert Live, 409 WRCX, 409-9729, brought to you by Ameritech, your link to better communication, and The Rock 103.5 Chicago. Rock 103.5 update. Good morning, 7.25 now for Mancow's Morning Madhouse. I'm Irma Blanca. Oh, man. <laughs> we are running late today. I was today. real surprised. We're supposed to be on at a time, a yeah, half hour 6 ago. Yeah, 6.50. Here's your way, local Sorry, news. folks. It's okay. Brought to you by Water Joe and the Caffeine Enhanced Water. She is finally talking. The woman who says Mike Tyson attacked her a week ago today is finally talking to authorities. No word on exactly what she said happened at the Click nightclub in the South Side last week. And so far, she has not made any official charges yet. Do you, uh, do you believe that Tyson... Tyson abused her? No. You don't? No. Well, once a rapist, always a rapist, Irma. I would be a free a human to afford the stuff I'm doing. I wish I could refrain. If I had stooped the trap, I would be the wire stamp if I only had a brain. <laughs> the cop shot him six times. Eric Smith was fighting with cops along the expressway last week. They six? shot him. Is that how many times? Three times in the front. Hell, twice. you can stop a rhino with six bullets. <laughs> yes, you three, can. three times in the front, twice in the back, and once in the wrist. Uh, that whole thing is still under investigation. They say, the cop said that, yeah. that he was just putting up quite a struggle. He was deaf. He was deaf. He didn't understand and, what was going uh, on. He did not understand what was going on. He was probably on. trying to talk to him. You know how they use their hands? His family said that uh, <laughs> that he was fighting for his life. <laughs> you mean to say they were, the he, he was him. trying to sign? <laughs> yes. Hey, if Turn ever gets fired, you're moving to France, baby. One of the most popular restaurants there uses live fat guys as tables. You, you, here's, the, here's the gist. You, si you sit on the floor on either side. You know what, turd? Psycho Steve could be a banquet table. <laughs> That's good. Listen, listen. Go ahead. You, Keep you going. sit on the floor on <laughs> either side. round table. That's really nice. <laughs> what do they call you on Springer? You, you, sit, you sit on the floor on either side of a 350. 50 pound guy who lies on their backs and then they have their bellies covered with a tablecloth. <laughs> there is a one hour waiting list to get into this restaurant. Hey, Madonna's pregnant. She's four you know what? months you know the pregnant bad thing? now. You know the bad thing about Psycho Steve being your table? It'd be the first time my table ate the food. <laughs> <laughs> Madonna is four months pregnant now. The father is her fitness instructor, 10 years younger. They some, both seem to be Cuban guy, thrilled. Yeah, that's right. He's a 29-year-old Cuban instructor. Cuban, Mexican, It's whatever, all the Cuban. same. <laughs> <laughs> At the box office.
office. Changed a little from yesterday's numbers. Primal Fear still number one. James and the Giant Peach number two. Birdcage moved into the number oh, third back spot. Again, huh? It's back again. Let's check out your roadways. What's up, Freak? Hell yeah! Traffic brought to you by the University of Chicago Hospitals for Happy hepatitis birthday. and other liver diseases of physicians at the University of Chicago Hospitals. Thank you. Offer innovative Happy treatments. Birthday. Thank you. For information, Happy call birthday. 312. Thank you. 702 9200. Thank you. Arachnophobia hits the Cal Ryan combo. Thank you. Right over the over the border, as a matter of fact. Thank you very much. A jackknife semi. Thank you. Ed Torrance in the left hand lane. <laughs> Your delay started. Cal to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. His birthday is 14. Jackknife semi right at Torrance, taking out the left-hand lane. Your delay started Calumet, making an hour in ten to get from the Indiana border into the circle Happy jerk. Happy birthday. Thir thank you. 35 minutes, Happy 95 birthday. minutes. Birthday. Thanks. Thank you. Happy, Happy birthday. Checking the dead presidents. Thank you. The Ike, an hour in Happy ten birthday. minutes from Route 53. Thank you. From To the post office. No particular reason. Kennedy clocking in. 45 minutes. Full place between Aaron downtown. Traffic brought to you by Midlothian Sports and Cycles. That is your traffic. Thank you. I am 70. will come tonight for the Bulls. That's right, folks. I'm really going out on a limb. The Bucks. So the Bulls play. They're one of the league's they worst don't have a shot. teams. They will not beat the Bucs. And I'll tell you what, they're going to get what? <laughs> <laughs> the the Bucs are going to get buried in cement tonight by the Bulls. <laughs> and isn't it about time everybody from ESPN to CNN quit ripping the Bulls? They all say that the Bulls couldn't hold the jocks of the old-time teams of the 70s. Well, you know what? They can. Hey, Michael oh, Jordan. Oh, they would kick ass. Let me tell you something. Michael Jordan is the greatest. They would destroy the Wilt greatest. Distill. They, they would sure destroy. Would. They, would, they would destroy Dr. J. Bill Russell, blah, 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 Gail Goodrich. Who cares? Michael Jordan is the greatest, will be the greatest, always has been the greatest, and he plays Happy now. birthday, Rick. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. Yeah. Get that retard out of here. Baseball, White Sox, they blew a 10-run lead, still won 11-10. The Cubs coming back down to earth. They lost 3-2. As expected, HIV-infected white trash human being Magic Johnson was slapped with a three-game suspension and 10 grand. Why did, why did he only get three games? Well, it's unfair, and it's uh, not... Rodman got six. That's right, crap. Right. It hasn't been defined by the league really why he got three games, probably because he's such a big-time ass-kisser. Yeah, Rodman knows. speaks his mind, much like you, man, Cal. He goes out there and tells it like it is, and he pays the price. And now Magic yeah. Johnson, you know, he he bumps a ref. He did it. He did it intentionally. It happened in a game. The guy should get six or seven games, no doubt about it. And I know everyone has been anticipating this. My keys to success for the Blackhawks in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Number one, to win at no cost. Remember those Red Wings, how dirty they are? Guys, there's no tomorrow. Once you get eliminated from the first round of the playoffs, it's do or die, zip or fi. You are the Marines sent in to accomplish a mission. Just do it. Don't bitch about it. Killer instinct. You need it to win. You're better than the other team, no matter how many wins or good players they have. You are better. You could win. No excuses. My thumb hurt. My ankle is bad. That's crap. My You're wheel the Blackhawks. Right. Not some crap-ass high school team. You're the pride of the NHL. You represent hockey at its best. Play like it. The power play. Where has it been lately? Please find it. Put it to use effectively. It's your bread and butter, kids. The Bob Probert factor. This badass defenseman can't lose his edge. He's been a one-man wrecking crew for the past three weeks. Don't God. be a pushback and back down. Your team needs you. Yeah, we can't have Probert go back to a couple months ago. We need Probert the way he is right now. You're a badass. Right. Eddie Belfour. This eagle has the edge and experience most don't have. Put it to use or you may be out after the season's over. You are the heart and soul of this Hawks team. Take the burden and be the man you need to be. Jeremy Roenick. Can I say any more? about one of the best around. If he the Hawks awesome. plan on going anywhere, this is a guy who will help the most and stay healthy, knucklehead. They need you. The home fans, when you're up and cheering your asses on for the national anthem, do the same when the Hawks score and do the same when the players are out there kicking some ass. And please, Duds, fill the stands. We need you out there. This team needs to win, and they need the fans. It ain't over to the fat lady sings. That's right. Fight till you ain't got no more blood left. This is the last time you will see some familiar faces on the Hawks. It's the cup or nothing, and Finally, just do it. You guys in the sweaters busting your asses deserve it. And the city of Chicago does, too. Yes. Don't get lost in the Bulls hype. You are what sports is all about. Those are my keys to success for the Blackhawks. Yeah, and the very, very true. Very nice. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Yeah. Sports. Yeah. Brought to you by Chicago Land Mitsubishi Dealers and by Encore Cable, Pulp Fiction, Casper, Dumb and Dumber, Carlitos, Way and Beethoven. Second, first run exclusives all this month, only on Stars, a better movie channel. Beethoven 2.